Do you know this film? Not looking familiar? But how about this clip? Yes? Yes. GIF stands for a graphic interface format. Looped video. No audio. Okay, that's a little too quiet. It's pronounced GIF as in Jim, or GIF as in gift. GIFs are both disseminators and sources of popular culture. Visual, versatile, and often viral. Hundreds of millions of people use billions of GIFs every day, driven by and instantly available on social media. Movie clips make up just one type of GIF, but we know people love them because you told us. Do you recognize all these movies? And does it matter? Movie GIFs are polysemic and intertextual. Removed from their host movies, they now have multiple meanings. Therefore, an assassin's glee at discovering his new target is a rival hitman. Or a detective's short-lived relief in a sinister supernatural serial killer thriller are now all but irrelevant sources of specificity. Some assumed Jack Nicholson's nodding grin when you're facing a loaded gun came from his maverick gang boss in Martin Scorsese's The Departed. When in fact it comes from his role as Adam Sandler's maverick therapist in Anger Management. Or does it? The expressions in eyebrows and mouth from film and GIF don't quite match. That's because the GIF actually comes from Anger Management's trailer, which uses a different take altogether. The GIF isn't even in its own film. Not only did many users of the Robert Redford Jeremiah Johnson GIF not know the film, many didn't even realize it was Redford at all. The reason, perhaps, that users don't know, or don't mind if they know a GIF's origin, is because ultimately, GIF usage is about affect, the end result, not its starting point. It's a personal, playful, and public performance, using industry-approved production values. I'm Gatsby. The glamour of the movies as translator and proxy for our daily experiences. But does it change? even cheapen a film to see it chopped up and hashtagged into random contexts? Or does it increase our admiration for work that so many want to recycle and repurpose? Feature movies in GIF form are decontextualized, then recontextualized by us. I need to call the police. It's a way to display our sense of humor. Our take on current events. There will be no more pills, there will be no more bad food, no more destroyers of my body. Our hopes and fears, cultural knowledge and reference points. Through these gifts, we're effectively the distributors, though crucially, rarely the producers, of bite sized short films. So short, in fact, that the loop becomes part of the gift's appeal, arguably revealing more performance nuances or production details than any other naturally found form of the original footage. Or it can be exploited for repeat comic effect. But repetition has its limits. Overused GIFs can become mocking memes in themselves. The real joy is in a rarer discovery, especially one that appeals to our own aesthetic tastes, maybe where we think we can decipher its own coded messages from the sender. Go to crash. So it then stands to reason that more discerning users would create their own gifts. 
there are a variety of ways to do this. Here's a scene I love from the Coen brothers, A Serious Man, one that I've never seen in gift form. Please, accept the mystery. Obviously, consider copyright issues, but capture or find the clip online. Put it into the designated software like Photoshop or app, like this free one, and record. When satisfied with the captured video, add the unheard dialogue as text if necessary. Save, and now you're ready to go. More sophisticated users can then manipulate a GIF to make endless variations, leaving the world of cinema behind altogether. Back in the film industry, however, inevitably, GIFs have become commodified. Many recent film releases come preset with their own GIFs, ready to help us to help them promote the film. It's unlikely GIF users feel used as extended parts of the PR machine, certainly no more than anyone who links to a movie trailer or online feature does. But it will be interesting to see if this pre-packaged incarnation comes to work against our sense of GIF agency and discovery, however illusory that might be. Or ultimately, if it all gets absorbed and amalgamated into the great, eternally looping online churn of imagery. The one undeniable positive effect is GIFs as an act of advocacy and curation for forgotten films. Silent movie GIFs, for example, don't just bring back early cinema classics, but sometimes cleverly connect them to today's hits. And if even a handful of people are inspired to check out Jeremiah Johnson, that can only be a good thing. Our relationships with moving images are changing all the time, in ways that perhaps we are yet to fully reckon with. So for now, enjoy the jokes, indulge your creativity, and please accept the mystery.